Welcome back guys, JDog here from Seekerhost and today we're going to be going through per world permissions. By this I mean having multiple worlds on one server using multiverse and then being able to set certain permissions for certain worlds. For instance, you might want one world people to be able to change their game mode and another world of which they can't or any other permission or command that you want to give them. One thing that we will require in this video or possibly two things in fact is luck perms the plugin. Now I'm not going to go through installing this it's very easy you simply use the download button here and I'll leave the links in the description. Download it and then add it to your plugins folder and again I recommend a paper server for this rather than spigot or bucket. Paper servers work for both bucket and spigot servers and they're very much more optimized and it works very well with luck perms. Quick explanation Explanation Luck Perms gives you an easy ability to be able to change players' permissions and it can also change what worlds you want their permissions. You can add groups and stuff like that. However, we do have another video on Lucky Perms, so I'll leave the link for that. So if you do want to learn how to actually add it, you can go ahead and follow that video first. However, we're going to be going on the assumption that you already have Luck Perms installed. If you don't follow the video, install it first and then come back and we'll go through the permissions in this one. The second thing you might need, of course, is Filezilla just to be able to upload the plugin if you haven't uploaded it already. Once you've uploaded, luck perms to your server you're going to find it in your ftp file access and you can now access the commands for it so whilst this loads up i just thought i'd explain that obviously you probably will need multiverse if you're trying to make per world permissions however this video is more specifically on how to actually create the commands or permissions for the world so let's just go ahead to multiplayer and let's go ahead and join the server if you haven't joined this server already it's pretty cool we got it here on seeker host and it's got a few mini games on here so anybody can join it's a public server we've got some fun things like murder mystery we've got village defense build battle and bridge battle and a really cool skyblock minigame however let's not get too excited about that and let's get on with the video so what we've got here is we've actually got different worlds this is the spawn world however if I come over to here you're gonna find that this is actually a completely different world that we're in right now hosting this game now let's just go with the example that I first used that one world you might want to do one command and in another world you might want a different command so what we're gonna do here once the plugin is installed is we're gonna do LP and then editor press enter and it's gonna give you a link in the chat if we just go ahead and click the link, press yes to go to the link, you're going to see that it brings you up to this page right here. Now, mine has obviously been configured a little bit, but you will have a default group right here, and this will be everybody that joins your server, unless you make another group such as admin or mods or whatever else you want to do. We're going to be working primarily on the default group just to make it so anybody on your server can do this. Now, as you can see here, I actually have got this already set up, and let's go through the process. What this list is here is just permission nodes that you are able to use, or of course not able to use if you change it from false to true so let's just do something like fly at first as you can see we have the essentials fly command so i'm going to type in the essentials fly command and then once you've selected it and you can see it here we're going to go to add this is now going to add it to the bottom of our list as you can see there we have essentials fly the value is set to true and there is no expiry on it because we want this to run forever however one of the important things and you can actually do this previously before you add it here but i like to do it after is you come to the context over here and you click on none if I scroll down a bit, you're going to see this give you a few different options. What you're going to want to do here is in the key part is you're going to want to type in world. And then if you scroll down a little bit further and then scroll down on the bit itself, you're going to find world. Now we're just going to change the value so we can change this. So only the world abstract can use it. So now what I've done is I've added the context that essentials fly can only be used by a default user in the world called abstract. You can add more as well as you go and you can add many different variations. Of course, you can choose some dimension type, whether they're jailed, muted, um, or of course their game mode. However, we're just gonna do the worlds for now. Now, as you can see, we have essentials fly, true on world abstract you can also do this the other way around let's say for instance you have fly enabled on all of your worlds but you want it disabled on one world you can just turn this to true meaning that it will still be enabled there uh, for everybody on all the other worlds however for this particular world called abstract it will be false you can even set an expiry if you do want to and here you can just pick a date and time to actually set yours to expire I do apologize my scroller has gone on my mouse so it's going up and down a little bit funny so let's just go ahead one more time and, and let's use game mode um, because you might have a game mode again that you might uh, want people to be able to choose. So let's do it using this way. So we've got game mode selected there. We've chosen no expiry and we can go to context over here and we can add. So again, we're going to go to world. We're going to come down to worlds over here and then we can select the value of the world that we want it to be available in. So you can change your game mode if you go to the world called Iridium Skyblock. Now, if we click add, you're going to see it's been added to our list, but I forgot to click the little add button first. So that was my fault. But either way, you can again do it through here. So just go to context, click on where it says none and then just go ahead and add another context to it. And you can add many as well if you want to add um, the game mode to a few worlds. So you can go to world, 
Let's add a value here of abstract. However, let's say we want to add another world as well, which you're allowed to do it in. Much in the same way, we're just going to go to world. And of course, you can do this by dimension too, but I'm just going to be showing worlds for this one. And then we can choose Iridium Skyblock 2. Click add context. And you're going to see that if you back out of this, we now have two worlds of which this will be applicable and they can use the game mode command in. Now, of course, you can go even fancier than this. You can make a whole different group. Um, let's say you might have like a VIP group. And once they're added to that VIP group, you can then do the same thing and add fly or TP and add them as true or not. And you can also add them as certain worlds. So it might be a VIP that you get VIP for one world, not the other. And that's the way to do it. What you're going to do now, once you're finished, is simply hit save. It's going to give you one more code. You just got to click on it to copy it. If we head on back to Minecraft, go into the chat bar, um, we're going to paste this in, do a control V, press enter. Um, obviously, we've got no changes because I took out the last change. But if we did have changes, it will then list it right there, meaning that I could then go to one of the worlds. Once I'm in the world, I'll then on a default be able to use the command, um, which I'm allowed. So I hope that's helped, guys. For any more questions like this, or if you want any more videos on multiverse, multiverse portals, multiverse inventories, let us know in the comments and we'll make some more to help you out. So we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.